he did in his might are being written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. Amin tayo. And also by the hand of the prophet Jeho, the son of Anani, came the word of the Lord against Pasha and against his house, even for all the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord, in provoking him to anger with the work of his hands, and being like the house of Jeroboam, and because he killed him, let's pray. But in Ayma Jusmila, the man iti pangungan Apu, chapter 16, of this historical book of uh, the first kings that that speaks of the Lord of uh, uh, one uh, uh, chapter of, uh, of Israel's life. Uh, Lord, this uh, moment, this time, Israel's spiritual life was uh, going down. And uh, these uh, uh, kings that, uh, uh, that, 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 that ruled uh, during these days were a really unspiritual. Uh, and uh, Israel is literally being diminished during the reigns of, of these kings. Tatangag uh, Sapa, as we come to this 21st century, we look at our life and we telescope of the Lord these generations of people, a kingdom in the past, that uh, lived of the Lord hundreds of years ago. They were still kingdoms during those days. But our time today could squeeze the messages of these historical events in the past uh, hundreds of years uh, because you ruled during those times and you are reigning even in our time today. There is a passage in the Bible, Lord, that you said, uh, God doesn't change and yesterday, today, forever, you are, you are the same. Oh Lord, how you deal with your people in this generation, oh God, is the same you will deal with us today. And so we need, oh the Lord, to get the best blessings, lessons from these generations of people in the past to uh, construct it, oh the Lord, in our lives as, as a lesson how, how could we live uh, to glorify you uh, for our blessings, Father. In Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so, chapter 16, it's a book. Daitong nga uh, kwa, daitong nga story ti may isang nga uh, kwa, daitong nga story ti may isang nga uh, chapter ti Bible. Kat napasamak na ito hundreds of years ago. Uh, kat iti uh, discuss na ito yung about kingdoms. Uh, Dahil ito yung about kings, iti yung mapay lang nga pala panawal. Kat uh, abang study, ito yung kausap kat iti challenge, iti tatang uh, panawal tayo. Kasalungan na nga ba, i-relate tayo, i-study tayo, i uh, historical event na nakasama in the past. Mm. Uh, so, di dyan, di dakto nga challenge, iti makuna pa ng Alti Bible. Uh, and, uh, kapag gawin tayo, kumit tayo, i-study tayo, nag-adal iti uh, Bible uh, chapter by chapter. Ay, kat masapol nga, masapol nga, ito, at tayo, di dyan, amen? Tapos, kung tika start at makita tayo, and, because of the premise, DJ uh, uh, Patayo, the belief tayo na it, the word of God is important from the first verse to the last verse of the Bible. Right. And since, ladies and gentlemen, we have thousands upon thousands of verses, and tayo nga the Bible verse by verse, so, makamatay tayo, hindi pa yun ang gudwa. So, nati kasal tayo, adalan tayo chapter by chapter. Eh? Now, let me get chapter of Kapsat Kat Dua lang actually iti pinakakwano na ito niya, pinakasaka na. And uh, political, iti terms, ano sabi ito eh. Uh, Noong pabalit tayo, i-dicect na ito eh. Tapos kung tingin sa may aplikan tayo, iti, uh, uh, iti palagyan tayo uh, as a practical principle. Okay, so sige, pupunta yan. Tapos kung tingin sa kagat pa, napokat. 
Ano ti apprehension mo ito ito yung preaching? Ano ba? Let's go. Alright, let's go. This one, this chapter actually, it speaks of the God of the universe. It's a very general subject. The God of the universe. Kat iti yun tayo surutan, ito na ito yung subject na naipits ka ada yung question. How could we understand God's role today? So, DJ Mantet, the Kitan. God, the God of the universe. Agayang mo na, kada yung audience ang pangagsapa, awan iti problema tayo regarding the God of the universe. Mamati tayo, ang iti Diyos, amen? At mamati tayo ba? Nga, dahil yung Diyos, kat iso na, iti God, itatang agsapa. O, kat, kat, Ang ko lang ang amun yun ang question po. Ang buhay pa nga isunod ni God, that's why you came here to church today? Yeah, yeah. I hope you do. Because yeah. di ka talaga, ito na sumapay nga, ang datay na tanga at sapa. Uh, na tayo nga makunang ang mamati ni Diyos, kat, uh, anati worship tayo. Lagi siya ay, han nga mamati, na ni Apo Diyos, iti God, iti universe, kat, I want to worship ka niya na, handawin mo tatya. O doon mamati na di mind na, doon handa nga talaga mamati, hindi pagkatao na. So, tatang ang sapa, dahil yung kaagda tayo, teachers, at dahil yung reflection na mamati tayo, that God is the God of the universe. Uh, see, how could He, how could we be here without believing that there is a God that we owe worship? Uh, so, that's the reason why we're here. I am here because I owe worship to the God of the universe. You know, so I'm here today and I preach before you because I want to please the God of the universe. Kat sabi ko mga kanitin yung klaseng na idea, isunod na pumati ng paanda ka niya yung tanga na agsapa nito. Amen? So, tanta ng agsapa, kaya ito may proof na itityos tayo, He is still the God of the universe today. Okay, so, kat aktor ng iti lesson na maaaral tayo, nung naaaral tayo ng klaseng iti lesson. Now, Ah, do wala nga after na naglakang ako na ako ang ako pala ang mga outline mo tapo makita lang isa ko. Okay, so how could we understand God's role today? Okay, so number one let's go. Number one na issue man ay karga nga ay pits ito yung chapter 7 chapter 16 iti first piece of the point. He still reigns today. Diyan iti first nga kaya ito makita tayo ng idea. Because dahil ito yung na dahil ito yung na idea at very very clear nga eh. Ito yung chapter. Iso na pa lang kaya tortura yung ika na data. Okay? Diyan ito kahit mga ibaga. At dati presidency tayo. At dati later is the United Nations tayo. At dati organization tayo ito na mga pinagay. The United Nations. At dati ito na. At dati ang ASEAN. At dati ang member tayo dyan. United Nations member tayo dyan. Diyan lang tahan tayo nga nakapasok ka ng Dagos because After World War II, kaya nagpatipatin tayo pa yung country. Hindi lang na nakala ng country din na China, Russia, Amerika, hindi nga pa yung iluwa ng member na ano din ba ito pa ako na. At tayo, we are so small. And until today, ang kung amun, ang apay na awal pantisip tayo kay UN. And we are trying our best to that. So, sa bali na talaga, tinubong. Hindi kami nungkot, hindi ba kung muna nga pa nakabalik na Bijay military might mo. Kung well, ito mo muna kwarta, kung silver. Nung sika nabaklang ka, kung ano yung napigsan ni military might mo, ay kung magkilala ka, pero mo talaga, the Philippines is really way behind, behind these powers of the world, kung mo muna. Ngayon, iti literal na magmangyari, there are presidents and emperors of today. We have the president of the Philippines, you see? But may I tell you today, by the truth that is vested on this chapter, that God, the God of the universe, is still reigns today. See, di yan tikay kung may mga kanyayo, He is still reigns today. Now let's take a look at this one. Let's see what happened here. Let's read chapter 16, 1 and 2. For the verse of this one, Prenna. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeho, the son of Hanani, against Baasha, saying, For as much as I exalted thee out of the dust. Can you imagine that word is there? For as much as I exalted thee out of the dust. What articulation of truth is there here? And made thee 
the prince over my people Israel. And thou hast walked in the way of Jeroboam, and hast made my people Israel to sin, to provoke me to anger with their sins. So, daito iti naikarga, iti daito yung chapter 18. And daito yung kakamsap na yung chapter, at dada iti chronicles. Nung luha pa yung ama i-rewrite, nag iti books na mo ko na, because at dada iti insertion, iti principles na masapol na mabasa ni tao. For example, Ijay, ijay panagturay ni uh, ni uh, Baasha na naisulat ijay Chronicles kat na ikargalan ni Jay as a statement to tell us a fact that he became king. And we do not know what happened there. But in 1 Kings chapter 16, dito ito yung maawatan, iti total uh, reason no apay na nag-re ni Baasha. Na iti reason no apay na nag-re ni Baasha, iti chapter 16, iti First things that I do it. For as much as I exalted thee out of the dust, I want to chronicles. No. Isu ngay nga iti Bible kat ma rewrite iti sa bali ng libro. Kapun ti kasang balaw na wagan di jay nangyari jay. Na di jay facts kat di jay history nga nangyari di chronicles kat maawakan tayo nga iti gaya ng likod iti panagturay ni Baasha kat gamot di Diyos. Di jay so let's read it. I will repeat, repeat it again. For you to get the uh, principle there. For as much as I exalted thee out of the dust, it made thee the prince of my people. Now let's go to the other one. Look at the, the lawyer, Apostle Paul, who wrote about the powers that be. Let every man be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. Look at that. There is no president without God. There is no emperor without God. Kuna na to yun. The powers that be. Then did you kuna natin yun? The powers that be. The powers that be. Kuna na. Are ordained of God. So makita mo dito yung mga kuna na yung grammar na nausang. Declarative. Are ordained of God. Hanga kuna na word ordained of God. No, they can ask for the name of God. It is declared as a truth that is universally and in every generation of man true. The intimacy that they declare to the day. So the powers of be are ordained of God. So nga, not kita ayo to process pa yo. Hana yang ala kwanta yo. Exercise that it suffers pa yo. Because each and every 18 years old citizen has the right to vote. The suffrage of the military. Iso nga, putos tayo. Nung makita, na si ka, siya, na tayo, siya, pili niya. Ijay, ikandato niya malunta. Nung lumabang na di Bible, ni Apo Diyos na ikandihan tayo ng mga putos ni Presidente. Kasi iso nga nung nangabak ni Presidente, di putos tayo, hanggang ako kanya tayo, nung di kat kaputa, inorday ni Apo. So, look at that. The powers that be, that future day are ordained of God. So, di kayo tinilig na. Isong amin na, isong ano, nagturay na itan, ang buwan, oray kontra, oray kontra, iti na akong mo, na itan ang pinatagaw ni Apo Diyos. Alright, now, let's go now to the reality by which these powers were given to such men. Iti ay mumato tayo. So here is the literal work of God in appointing or ordaining anyone to sit in power. Let's read it again for you to understand. Dahil din nga mong pala ngayon parang turay ni Diyos itinubong. Wala na. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeho. Dahil din yung prophet, ang ibang baon lang ang mga ibang bagay tilintag na. You tell Baani. Wala na. Baasha. Di ba ani nga di papanikwan? You tell Baasha, the king, today, saying, for as much as I exalted thee out of the dust. No, nabasang natin yung last time. The question mo ka, where was Baasha without God? He was in the dust. Tapok lang isong na. Isong may nga, ako yun, nagkita, ang torturay na nagkita na. 
they are nothing but reputed as dust. Without the ordaining hand of God. Una na kat they were but a dust. No, wala na, tinap ka din. Una na, but I exalted me out of the dust. Oh, see? Oh, dito na mo talaga. Tingin nyo dito na sa ito. Dito yun, dito na mo talaga. Hantay lang ang pagtutungtong ang entity powers that be. Doon din yung pagtutungtong tayo pa dito. Biyan tayo yung individual. You see? Nga doon sino ka rin tayo makiangat kanya at dito yun tayo Diyos. Alright? I would like you to understand that we are nothing in this world but reputed as dust. Di ba yung sapay kitiyan nga propeta? But the wise na tao but i-description ni tao but worm. Ni Job, amoy i-description ni Job, iti tao, you are but a worm. And then, kailangan mo yan, dust with a worm. Dust with a worm. You see? Pareho na nga. Pareho na nga i-significant. Kunan yung mga panayapos, ibagamban, kinibaan siya. Mabalipot iso na yung takot but in anak ko isuna and I ordained him to become the the prince of my people. I would like to get the point because you think that I'm not articulating it. But look at it again. Verse 2. For as much as I exalted thee out of the dust and made thee prince over my people Israel. Alright, so I'll just stick to you with the judge because kailangan ito na ito yung klase ni itong trino ng tangin sa pa. Amin na bang mangyari din dyan na makakamsap kat mga puti iman ni Diyos? Di dyan yung idea na lang tayo that the God is the God of the universe. And under that, we can say that He still reigned today. He reigned. So He reigned in the sense that politically, kaya't kung mapawapin yun ito, because maminsan lang na ito yung may may salang actually na ito yung classic descents that paawat nyo na ito yung matay kayo. Every president that will sit there na parang in this country and every emperor that will sit in Japan or every prince that will sit there in England are ordained of God. No handa pa yung anak na kita na na ordained na kita na. So kahit nga sa mga ganti are ordained. Hindi na tibili na ganti ka niya. Awan pa yung tao, but in, 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 in. So, look at this one. We are men who are, who are organized ourselves as a nation. And there are also a lot of nations around this world that live with us. You know, in the United Nations, can, we compose, uh, in the membership, na, 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 solo ka 200 nations that they die in yung ASEAN at Masit lang. And some other organization na mo talaga. We are talking about hundreds of nations around the world. But every president that will sit on the respected nation are ordained of God. So that is how God rules today. So kung natin yung mga, when we say, God is the God of the universe, He is the race today, it means that He is the one who appoints the leader of every nation. Okay, so bumaba tayo kasi na tayo hanggang tayo na awan tayo yung level, awan tayo yung politics. Iti kaya tayo yung makasama at bigyan tayo ng kastoy. What we are trying to come up with this principle is I want you to know that God reigns in our lives today. He reigns in our lives. Doon dati kung merong ipapanganak dyan na bata, hindi dahil gusto ng parents nila. It is because God wants that baby to come up. You understand that? Amen, tayo na. You see? Kung maikakasal dyan bukas, it's not because they are in love to each other. No, God appointed them to marry. Because alam niya anak na na tao nga kahit niya akong pagbaling na servant. Hindi niya tingnan mong watan niyo. And for you, every one of us, choose our own one. Choose our own belonging. I want to become a teacher, I want to become a doctor, I want to become a nurse, I want to become a policeman, I want to become someone, somebody like that. My friend, don't you know that even in that, there is a hand of God in that? Anak, ihan ni Apu Jai, my two sis tayo. Why is it? Because we are just the bone in the hands of the maker. 
You see, we are just pawn in the hands of the mistress. And this world, it is very, it is unlikely, it is a majestic thing to, to, to realize that the complexity of men that belongs to each and every nation, the complexity of the world today, and the people are, in the people right here on this, what we call the world of men counts not only by hundreds but by millions and even billions today. Like you know, billions with different cultures, different colors. You know what? They are ruled by God. You see, the Apostles of God are ruled by God. I gather that without God, the world is in chaos today. See, the world is in chaos today without God. Makikita mo si Aruti Katok, pa presidente ng Amerika, ni Xi Jinping Katok. Apa na nagagawa ng si Baybay ng Amu na mga si Baybay ng Amu na kinabangin ni ni Putin. Ako ba nang? Ibo pagal mo ni nuclear ba nang? Mas na lang hanap mo tiket na sumti nuclear, amare? Na nunak nuk ti nuclear sabsaba ni DJ. Because no nag no nagpaputok ka ti nuclear, fifty percent ng mga ika. You see that number one, iti ada jenis pala ko nanda. Mas parehong kinidot ko tuyo niya. Tin mayab, ibigla ka na na short circuit. Pati na ika, pati mga ika. Tapos kung no tin mayab kung kung successful ang stand, ano na pang mas parehong stand? Dagdaulo na ti, ano mga percentage iti daga? Pahipay. E numanunga iti na ifal na adamo iti na ifal kita kayo. So the world will be in chaos when the, the world, the nuclear war will, 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 will break. You know? Nung makita, nga, ipagpagana pala na hmm, we are ready to to push the bottom. Ano si Katok, am I right? You see? Nung dagit yung katok na President Peter, haanda nga ang kuri ng mga dini ako. They will never do that part. You see? Because because he still reigns. So, datay ito na po talaga, saan tayo mga nadalagan? Because ni ako yung statek at pastoray. Ngayon, bumabata nila yung tayo tapo na enjoy tayo yung lesson ngayon. Datay yung mga dito yung tatang at sama. We do not have that fear of mind where we manage the, the affairs of this nation. We will belong, we belong, ladies and gentlemen, to a very, 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 very practical belonging. Pamilya mo lang tiba't palanutan. Karayan mo lang tiba't palanutan. So, katapa na hindi, sika lang tiba't palanutan. No one family mo nga rin. Now, I want to tell you this one. We live in a very, very small world. But I tell you, I tell you, that even the meaning of our activities in this life are ordained by God. You see? And I will prove to you that one. I will prove to you that amin nga han nga amin nga dinisayin mo pangyari. Amen? Maka-marikay mo din? Ang nga amin nga kahit mukhang maatakin ka. You understand that? No. Because you do not rain. No. It is God that rain. Unless God will do it, it will not happen. <clears throat> Kasi hindi kasama yung mga awat, hindi mo ko na na-label to the tag sapa. That He really rules in our life today. He governs. You see, He governs our affairs in His life. Kat, kaya ito eh. Kat, no, tap, no, tap, no, ma-enjoy yun. Ito yung nga talk to you. Kat, Ay kung may kumapil yun, hindi nga yung gravity is still in the Aphrodus. Kuna na basta, from the dust of this earth, you were there. But I lifted you up to become a prince. So from the dust for a prince, it's a matter of consideration. Isa man yung paa siya, hanggang nagrubing a prince. Kuna nang kasta ni Jenny, philosopher, I think therefore I am. Do they really understand that kind of statement? Have the research on the context of the statement? You see, nagaruti, hanggang mga kawawin niya, what? Now, 
from the dust of trees. Yun ang amoy ti, kahit na nasawon ti nga banat, kahit kastoy. No, napang kanyawon na dust, it means that it is just but a ordinary thing. When we speak of the dust, it is but nothing. Kita mo magpagnaka, at nakarga ang titas ni pantalon mo, naraksak ka ba? Saan pukpo kang pa yung titas ni pantalon mo? Kasi madin titas, amen? Kasi di tinilig titas. Reject. Madin nga umay di pantalon mo. Nung nagpakot pa yun, ikatang pa yun. Pukpo kang pa yun. Kasi di di kila insignificant titas. And dahil taka ka sa aktor ni titas sa atin ni Apo. Ura yun ni or in the Kapaknangan, that that is just but dust in the eyes of God. You see, we are all but dust. Iti tao, apay na tang isinsenta ni Apulius di ngay klase iti attitude tayo para kanya na. Because there are a lot of people, because of the wrong notion of themselves, they disrespect the Lord. You know, amo yung ba no apay na rotaw di senta ta? Because they do not really know the God of the universe. Amoy na apoy nga rin taglalawin na tangas na Sunday because they are ignorant of the God of the universe. And so they disrespect Him the day that they must worship God. And that is the reason why God wants to instigate the, the doctrine that He wants to tell men that He reigns in our life today. Kasi nung titaw, ang muna nga ni Apoy sa Torturay ay tatlayawin na. You see that? So, kung hindi na ipa naka-album, hindi siya nga ba na isumot kasi ang hindi approach mo. Without the knowledge of that, you will never approach it like that. So, hindi siya hindi kayo nang ipagaso. Una na, mapangkaman kinipaka siya kung saan ang ambo. Kaya nga ambo na ito eh. Kaya ko nga i-articulate yung dalamay at natapunti sa akin paala na. So, hindi na pa nakasta ni Jeho ko na na. O King, Dahil di man tinipagan ni Apo, kung na nakasta, for as much as I exalted thee out of the dust to become the prince of my people. You see, so kasi di kasta ni Apo doon sa kanya, magpaka niya ito, magisuro. Magisuro. And so, actually, without humans, God will still live. You know that? Without us, God still lives happily. From now on, to eternity. Without us, God is still God. You see? Iso may nga importante nga nga ang amunti ni Diyos na rin dyan. Importante nga dahil din na Diyos in the universe kat ba ang mong mga talaga iso na. Kat no mga mong iso na di jayan mo umay di respect mo di jayan mo umay di mo unang panang dayaw mo di jayan mo umay di mo unang panang sparag sa Diyos. Kasi na ang mong iso na nga iso na gano'ng Diyos mo. Iso nga din nga impact na po lang nga nga sa Walang kastangay ni Thomas, my Lord in my God. Do you know that there is gravity with those statements? No, kung na nga, my Lord in my God, kahit sa mga Diyos, sikat ni Diyos ko, malagapwak, kung sikat ni Lord ko, matong palat ni Ani, magam, di tingin niya. And in the same manner, we call the Lord Jesus Christ our Lord today, at present. And so why are we today in this church? Because we call Jesus Christ our Lord. And He said that every Every first day of the week with Sunday, let every one of you lay by him his story in 2 Corinthians 6.2 as God, God, God has prospered him. And, and, and we will gather around for God. See, so at the Lord of God is determined every Sunday to the lives of those people who acknowledge him as Lord. And I'm one, of, oh, I'm one of them. You are one of them. So, the GTV and the JSO, the GTV and the JSO, the GTV and the JSO, the that kas na yung matipagtarungan itibiyag mo. You know, so what you are is what you know. What you know is what you are today. Kaya di dyan, hindi ko tayo, kaya kung nga maawatan tayo yung mga we are, we are in the beginning of that. But He lifted up and called us the Son of God. Ang nangyong term na wala ni Puro Kasta na maragsangat na hanggang ngayon, maartikil ko yung tingis na ngayon 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 maragsangat tayo kung mga tayong kalina tayo ni Apo Diyos na anak ni Diyos. Kung nang kasta ni Kod. Not the idea that you ain't got the thing I feel in the from nothing. We are called the Son of God. 
Don't you know that to become the first lady in this country is something? In the political aspect? Is someone who just out present the first lady at Moon uh, But there is, there is glory in the that. No word. It is more, it is more glorious to be called the son of God than to become the first lady of a country. Because a son of God is a title that only God gives to whosoever he would. He titled it in Ibagana. Address lang din Ibagana. So, hang, hang expression to lang, we are children of God, no, we are Christians. We are in the title. And the title is bestowed upon us by birth of our faith in Christ. So, DJ, hindi kayo na kayo magalit. So, DJ, ang idea ng kata nito, eh, kung na, you tell ba Asia that from the dust, I lift the devout to become the prince of my people. Iso ba, hindi ka sasaan ka dahan na tao, hindi bang i-ngarot sa rin ako na, nung ikit Diyos. You know, it is God that, that do that one. So, in everything, also, in every aspect of our life, you know, from, from where we belong to what we are today, it is not an accidental thing, my friend. It is done by God Himself. On purpose. Tapos tis na ngayon kata tayo kat mausap din pakinagaya ko na. Iti amin nga na yung angatan tayo kaya tayo ah. That Diyos di mga angamin din tayo. So di iti principle kahit kung maging tayo ko na lang. From the dust I exalted you. Isang di ko na kalitin na diya eh. From the dust I exalted you to become the free. So from nothing to something. You know, kasi diya yung ako. So di iti kahit may baga ano ko na pagkat reigns to death. So, i-apply to ito ng death tayo. No, as they know, it's mga mangyari to remote in the gap. Therefore, it is our burden to come to God. It is therefore our burden to approach the God who will lift somebody up from where He is. So, without Him, there is no lifting at all. In whatsoever aspect of our life, masapol nga natin Diyos. So, Christians, uh, nagito ko bakit importante nga yung maalaw tayo. Tap notis, tigyan tayo, tigyan tayo, ang yaman, hindi mo tayo, ang muto tayo, ang ramitin tayo. Isuway nga ba yan, kung makasilip tayo, kanya ako Diyos, Diyos, isulat mga anak kanya tayo. Because there are people who are, who are putting their faith, they are putting their faith upon faith. Ayun, kung nga ako nabawag nyo din. Nagaroon, ito tao na yung itanot na, itadhana na, itadhana. Oh, dati ko muna matihan tayo kung mga itatalot, itadhana tayo, itadhana. Itatalot tayo kung itadhana tayo, hindi mo ti Diyos. Because there are a lot of people who are leaning on faith. So ngayon ang kantaga, but kunaga, whatever will be, will be. Did you make that you are putting your faith upon faith? But today I tell you, no, you must not do that. Because there is the God of the universe whom you will talk to, there is the God of the universe whom you will tell what you want to be done. But iso na ito mga yan at kita. Tapos dahil ito ay di yan mga anong ito. So ako lang na, no ko lang na he is still raised today. I'm talking of politics here. Not only politics, but I'm talking about the real life in each and every one of us. Na, na tayo, kaya tayo nga maikwan, am I right? Kaya tayo nga progreso. Kaya aming nabanag. Kaya tayo nga makaabante. So tomorrow try tayo ko ma. At dahil yung isa lang kaya ko na lang, ayun. Man nga ni Martí na sa nga ito, kasi lang ako nang nangyari. That is one of the saddest truth that we experience in this time. But it must not be like that. Am I right? It must not be like that. Katata, dahil ito ito pagsabalian ni Diyan Katata, because naawakan tayo ang ating Diyos na mga inang kanya. So, hindi sa muna na lang yun tayo. So, DJ, tibili na DJ, He is still reigned today. It's very simple to understand. Nung atawar niya idea, ito yung sumarunong kayo ng OD. Okay, so number two, the last. Not only that he still reigns today, but he is also, he still rules today. Ah, did you reign the rule at pareha ko na nita? Nung sabalit ni Pangos Alam, he rules. God still rules today. Now, let's take a look on the verses. Tapos na makita yung idea, idea niya. Let's read. Medyo atin yung plenty. Let's turn it in there. Pasahan tayo sa amin yun. So Baasha slept with his fathers and was buried in Tirzah and Ella, his son, reigned in his bed. So ano yung tinangyari dyan ngayon? Natay ni Baasha ang nang kuha ni Apo. Apo yung natangan na ngayon? Natay ni Baasha? Gapunta haala ngayon na 
i-consider ni acknowledge ni ako nga isunat si Agri Rain. Say, kat na tayo isunat na pit lang managroon. Kat na tayo, na isunat ni, uh, na isunat ni anak na. So, so marunod, ito ba sa Antos Marunod Seven. And also by the hand of the prophet Jeho, the son of Anani came the word of the Lord against Baasha and against his house, even for all the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord, in provoking him to anger with the work of his hands, in being like the house of Jeroboam in the cave because he killed him. So, pinatay na ni Baasha na natin yan. In the twenty and sixth year of King Asa. So, malagip to ni King Asa? He was a good leader. In the Northern Kingdom. So, na-divide the kingdom sa uh, north, uh, southern at ibang pagkata yun, ni Asa, northern. Yan ni David. So, ang buyo, 26 years soon na nag-reign. Ito yung pangil, pasok at sumat. Because faithful is soon na, so nga, steady lang tayo soon na dyan. Dahil yan faithful, masok sa katanda. Nga nga, maada pa dito yun sa nga sa katanda. Why is it? Because they don't acknowledge the rule of God. No, no reign ko na to rain, no rule ko na ada tilintag ni Jud ni Apodos na dapat na sunod ni King. No handa na so sunod ni Jud ni Apodos. So handa na pag rule ni Apo ni Kingdom. And because of that, they do not acknowledge the rulership of God. They rule by their own laws and creed. But they don't, they forgot the rules of God, they weren't na. But masoktok so katanda. Now let's read again because ada the point na kaya kung i-deliver ito eh. So, kung lang in verse number 9. Are we in verse number 9? Okay. In his servant, Zimri, captain of his, of, 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 of half of his chariots, conspired against him, and as he was in Tirza, drinking himself drunk in the house of Arsa, a steward of his house in Tirza. Na barta barta. In my DJ captain na, di may isang uh, uh, half na soldiers na, na pinatay na kitin. And Zimri went in and smote him. Because na para para to kasuna ni. And killed him in, in the 27th year of Asa. 27th year of Asa. And, 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 and reign in his stead. So, natay ni Baasha. Ya anak na pinatay mo ni Zimri. Zimri. And it came to pass when he began to reign. As soon as he reigned. That he slew all of his. All of the house of Baasha. Ya anak na anak na. He left not one that piece it against the wall, or until the lacking of the na. Neither of his, of his, uh, what is that? His folks. They can say sing na. Nor his friends. Uh, thus did Zimri destroy all the house of Baasha, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake against Baasha by Jehovah the prophet. So, dahil ito tirol sa, itigong sa tao, masapulat na iti word ni Apo at, at Turay. Because, the word of God will tell us that we acknowledge him as our ruler. Because in this life, either we make our rules or we are going to the rules of God. If we if we if we if we decide to squeeze the rules of God and make our rules for life, we dethrone him as our ruler. And thereby we rule according to our own whims and caprices. You see that? Nung nag-i-decret na kasumurot iti-rule ni Apo, they respect the word of God. Amen. And they let their lives be ruled by the rules of God. As they ka kasang kahit iya tinangyari dahi. Isa nga, nung ay patakdaran ni Apo yung speaking during the time of Israel, di dyan yung orientation na. Don't you know that every president has their own orientation? Ma-orient na kita na. Di dyan nag-turay na amin na kiti agencies as ano nga imanis na kita, anyan imanis and yet the responsibility. Bakpaan din ka na ba ulit ni the President? So na ulit is trying to think of this way na na. But mabalin na ka. Because ano yung orientation ni leaders? So na one. So na advice na lang tayo nyo dyan o kangaway. You see? Now, kasimot lang, iti pa nagtuturay iti kings during the time of the king of Israel. But iti leaders during the time of the elders. Very godly. And so na tumugaw ni king at Ibagalan na, ibigang tinitin ni Apo Diyos, it is your choosing. If you're going to be ruled by the word of God, or you will make your own constitution. Kasi dyan, kanyang tinapasama, 
Manit po ito di pa asya, sino di anak nan? Di pa dakay, bayang amo. Di pa asya, sino di anak nan? Tiksa nyo. Ila. Santo pinatay ni Zimrai, ni Ila. Ini kuan pinatay mo ni Zomri, ni Zimrai. Oh. But, apay na kaka siya kasi ay, apay na kaka repeat, na repeat, apay na kaka repeat, na repeat nga. Apay na kaka siya. The reason is, they do not acknowledge the rulership of God in their life. Nung makita ni Asa J. J. Northern Park, na may may sana lang, 27 years, so na, limang na ting pinagsukat ni J. Southern. But King Asa was there alone. Why is it? Again, di J. Mako po na nga rulership niya ako. So more sure, iso natin sa saong video. So, ladies and gentlemen, ilang taong sa pa, Iba pa tayo mga retinal principle. Iti uh, lintag ni Diyos. Isumot lang. Disaymot lang. Agyaman tayo taad natin lintag ni Apo. Amo yung mga natin. Bible na rin ito yung mas masakit yung rin ito. The devil has put his hand on this Bible before. Amo yung tingkastan ni Satanas na nang nadaal ti Bible ito. Pinagsusukat na kakawasan ti paratoray ti nations of nation. Kita nyo ha, the first na nation nga amuto yung in antiquity ka ni Babylon. But nasukatan na ito, nagbalin na world power ni Egypt. Am I right? Itinalpas nga nag-world power ni Egypt. Iti Israel lang, kaya nga record ni history tayo, kung iti Israel na yung Bible. Manungatawan, 8 years ni Saul, 8 years ni David, 40 years, 4 years ni Solomon, Uh, and then, oh, manong din eh, 100, 120 years ang maraming yan niya. So, ni Solomon, uh, nagturay itikin niya ni Apo Diyos, itilubong for 150 years. What, was it written in the history of the world? No. Because, the thing with the Christiano, but sa balit ni Jeff tayo talaga. Sa balit ha, no, is na din yung tindyan na David ka na Solomon. Ni Apo Diyos, ni Diyos ka. No, mapangatlubong handa ka mo ni Apo Diyos, isulat Diyos. Isa mo yung mga nang, ano na gito eh? Para gito ito, superstitious. O matataw na gito ito. Diyos, ada ka nung Diyos ito. At ada tingin ka pa eh. So, this is not really my life. So, even the historians of antiquity did not even lift their small finger to write the history of the Israelites. So, agyaman tayo. Because they preserve it yung record na iti Bible. Hindi ko nangyipay ti panahon nga hindi nagturay, pinupuro na ti Bible. Pinupuro na ti Bible. Nung simple ti Diyos, Diyos Lorde, habang pupuran na uman at anong mo na nandun, isang hindi na uman at muna nandun, baybayan tayo mo na ang muna. So, it began to embrace the Bible. But this book was embattled for centuries after centuries. But it remains to be the most expensive book in the world. Most purchased book in the world. Because it is the book of God. But kasta tingga sa niya ako nang i-preserve it is asa una. The problem today is nag-buyat ni Dibatin ni Sinyal at Abogano ng Lengan ito yun. Ni Dredon, kini Sinyal at Lengan ito yun. Ni Congressman. Grabe kayo. Parkuleta. Pag ni Dulon kami, katwala ni Ninaga ni Uwain na Tingapan. Pairos na rin siya. Ponti Pairos. Tagi na pro, nagi niya ito mo ako na nga, divorce, di ba? Ni Marcoleta ba? Anti-divorce. At kung na ni Marcoleta ka sa The Bible says that what God joined together let no man put us under hand. Hindi ko din nasa na kami. Nag-text ko bakit. Insurok na yung baratan. Sabalin mo ka na. Tiyan mo ka na doon. Nung nag-asawa ka nung tinuwa ka doon ako ba may dapat na aksina. Kung na na. Kaya yung Romans din ang alante. At kung na nindulon. You show me please in the Bible that kung wala ka saan. Hindi ko an awat ka ang tikasting a word. You know. Awat tikasting a word. But kinansyaw ni Dilon na kung na nakat Thank you for that homily. Ngam, tiket mo yung pagkaya. Uray, yung walls, iti kongres tayo niya. 
Handa nga makahakilap iti rason iti human pana, human reason na iti divorce pet malegalize. Iti kamayatan na talaga na pangkita ang iti lintag iti marriage kat Bible. Hindi ba po rin tapos nalain ang sumpa ni Bible. Sumat di na ina matapan pa di Bible at sumat di Congress in article kat isa. You see? Because awan mo rin ground mo nga talaga. Iti lubong ah. Awan si Chingay inaramil iti institution iti tao about the Jimoko na sacredness iti marriage only only in the Bible. Isong nga uri na i-abukado ko na i-turn to the Bible at nung mag-prove that the point na nga bawal iti mo ko na nga divorce. You see, nga iti prevailing idea kami. Na ito kami iti idea na iti meros. As ano nga yun dyan, asawa ka talagang han mo ngayon nga marikonsign. Kamadida nga talaga, di may sangan may sangan. Alangat nga at titipulong na rin ka, durong mo rin malinat at nagkinakinaramot ka. Nung pagtipulong mo ni Suda ka, rumor na mo ka, bungal na ka tuwa. At di ba nung pagtipulong ni Suda mo ka, biglang awan tilapayan ka ng sumarno. So, kung ano yung tibero, sakpay ng maawa ng tayo yung tilapayan, ang dibol. You see? Ngum, ti problema ka mo, kung dyan, gari ka ka. Nalaklaka ang dibol. Amoy, ti karabawon na dibol na nabasa. Napurong na krabi. Inalamin. Nagulos na rin, isang tamot ko rin tingnan rin. Ngayon na rin, may comfort na rin ba? Kasi ayos during that time. So, ginalot-galot na dyan ang lahat ng mga ulos. Saan ito inmutot? Hindi ka pa kita nag-divorce na. Kaya, ano sa mga hindi ang kasa ti kararamot ni divorce? As Jenny, ti Rikwa, mangyari, no, anong divorce ni divorce, talalak-alak ka. Isun ni Madita yun. Amen? Nung lumakita mo talaga, nung mapakatiliso ninyo tao, kaya isun niya, ng basit lang. Kasi ito yung Pilipinas, kita ko ti awal ti divorce na yung pigot mayat. Ang mayroon? Ay, di Amerika, every upang nga balay, may isa pinag-divorce. Kaya tayo nga karoon pinas ngayon nga klase. Kapulang na binigay tayo yung i-will ni tao. Gusto nga kasi nila yun eh. It is a truism that we human beings destroy our lives through our weaknesses. Nung kami di standard tayo nga nababa, at dumatol tayo dyan, bumababa tayo nga bumababa. Nung ang gintin tayo, kasi gintin niya eh. Isungat niya eh, mga dadadal, tao ka sa sarili ng mga tao. Kasi ada problema, ang gintin ka, bumababa at label mo. Ada problema, bumababa ka, hingga na bumababa at yung label ka animal. Isungat, importante nga talaga yung rulership niya po. Dahil yung rule na iso dahil ito, hindi ko na tayo nga, hindi ko mga umibat kapag ulit ni si tao. Hindi ka kalabon tayo kung mga gerule ni ako paglo na nga ako at this is standard ng mga tao sa robot nila. And that is the same idea today that I'm preaching to you right now. Here is the quantum of mga hindi ko maulaw. Hindi kayo na masawang tigat rules at tas ko yun. In our life, we must be governed by the laws of God. Without wits, You are governed by your laws. Your laws that are weak. Your laws that are ignorant. Your laws that are human. You see? And without the laws of God, we become like an animal. Iso nga dahi tatya nga kahit niya ako mangyari. But iso nga dahi ito'y, dahi ito'y kings, ito'y southern, ito'y southern, ito'y southern, ito'y southern, sukat na nga sukat na mag, mag ina tinulong niya ako, ikatan mo niya ako Diyos. Malindi anak na ikatan niya ako. Malindi anak na ikatan niya ako Diyos. Nang ni Asa, na kay kayat na susulod, tinitin niya ako. Lakay, lakay pa yun. Lakay ruler pa yun. Hingga na natay. Because he acknowledges the rule of God. Si Sunat ang agsapa, itininsay ni 1 Kings chapter number 16, kasi dahil, God is still the God of the universe. And under that, He reigns and He rules. The question to you is, does God reign in your life? Does God reign in your life? 
Maada tinaas nga ito ng Diyos mo na pagrukbabam, pagsurbyan, kadayawan. Number two, does God rules in your life? Which means that He has a word that you need to sing every day so that it will guide you in all your affairs of your life. So, di jadi kena. So, so kata tangan Rabi sampai ke mata. Ang torturai kuman niya aku tibiak tayo. Kat makita mereka, iso ngay ngano, no sika kat Diyos mo kat iso ti, Diyos mo kat talaga niya aku. Bos mo iso na. Masapun na dayaw iso na Sunday after Sunday kasi bos mo iso na eh. He reign in your life. On the other hand, is he the God of, is he your God that, that rules? Which means that you need to be educated. You know, it is little na. Tapos no, ang moment di kasama mo mag-i-biyak, itarabaw talaga. I, you know what? Education is good. You understand that? Yes. Education is good. I tell you that. It is a universal truth that must always be within the frame of anyone's values. Because it's education, I mean, because it's education. Computer man na ita, may red nga, ang mabubo, ang mabubo, ang mabubo, ang mabubo. Grammar man na ita, may ang mabubo. Every kind of education is good. At natayong mag-anak ni Apo, kasi mag na. Kailangan tayo ka maanal di Biblia ka talaga from cover to cover. So lifetime na ita because our life is not enough to cover the study of the Word of God. It's a lifetime pursuit. That's why we need to love the Word of God. If you want, if you want God to rule in your life, so now what do you believe in chapter sixteen? The God of the universe, which means He reigns and He rules. So I pray to you, my tata, that the correct day. The correct day, the tata, chapter sixteen, that no hanu pa ina nga yak aknalis ni Apo Jesus ni Jesus na tagtorturay ibagang po mga Apo si Kati Jesus ko. Therefore, you worship Him the best of the king. Number two, he rules, which means that if you have any problems, you will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. But if you have any feeling, it means you are trying to make God to rule over you. So tell him that one, okay? So can we tell to God that He is our God? And we want Him to reign in rule in our lives? Let's tell him one by one. Let's pray. No, I Just me, nga Maridayo, you are indeed the God of the universe. But that idea remains only an idea until we count you as the God who reigns. Oh Lord, I hope that each and every one today acknowledges the truth that you are uh, our God who reigns in our lives. Thereby, we must worship you. From this day forward until we die, we must worship you. Every Sunday, because you, we acknowledge you as the one who reigns. Not only that, but we have a big problem in our lives, and that's when we use our emotions and mind to treat our daily living. And our emotions and our minds are not perfect to guide us in every decision making that we do. But you still rules. 
which means you will know that you have your laws that must govern every child of God. I hope that your word that we have every Sunday are a matter of uh, schooling. We come to church to school ourselves to learn from the word of God. And when we hear your word, we are going to uh, um, their God apply it in our daily living. We convert, O oh Lord, your principles uh, as our uh, guide to decide on every decision that we decide. So we can say that you are our ruler. Thank you that in this life we are complete. We have the word of God to tell us what to do. And we have a, a, a very uh, noble life of worship to worship the God of the universe. Without these two, man is reputed to the Lord as dust. But we are not dust anymore, but we are princess. We are elevated to be called the Son of God. Therefore, we must live up to the expectations of God, where He will reign in our lives as well as He will rule. I hope manali- maliwala that you are preaching the Tansapa, that that you are not kami. Abang papanunut apo iti dahil tuig na pagkajus mo tibermi. Salamat na unay, it is first Kings 16, and we go to 17 again, we, we will have no possibility of knowing such things without your word. That's why we beg you, the Lord, to please educate us every time we study every chapter. Oh God of the Spirit, we really need you to come to us in our uh, serious lessons. Please, oh God, without you, I'm aided by you, God of the Spirit. We can never approach even to the slightest meaning of your word. But through your leadership of our spirit, we can be able to grasp your intentions, your principles in the word of God. Bless us all together, Father, in whatever uh, we pray to you, commitment might be, may you help us to uh, accomplish it. Bless your word in our hearts, in Christ we pray. Amen.